Science 4, Quarter 1, Week 1 to Week 2 Milk Base Let's learn about Special Properties of Matter Hello kids! It's me, Teacher Frel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the notification bell for the latest video. You can also follow my Facebook page, Teacher Frel TV. Good day kids! For today's lesson, we will talk about the special properties of matter. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Discover the special properties of materials and the changes that will happen when they are exposed to certain conditions. Hello kids! Today, you will learn how to classify materials based on their ability to absorb water, float or sink in water, and undergo decay. Examine the two sets of pictures below. These materials are commonly found at home and are grouped according to their properties. In set A, the materials are towel, sponge, and tissue paper. In set B, the materials are frying pan, plastic bag, spoon and fork. The materials in set A which are hand towel, sponge, and tissue paper has the ability to absorb water, while the materials in set B which are frying pan, plastic bag, spoon and fork do not absorb water or liquid. Look at the materials in set B, the frying pan, plastic bag, spoon and fork. If you place all these materials in water, which materials will have the ability to sink or float in water? Did you find out? Correct! A plastic bag can float in water because it is made of light material. While the frying pan, spoon and fork, will sink in the water because they are made up of metal which is a heavy material. Porosity is the property of material to absorb liquid like water. Porous materials have plenty of spaces or holes called pores where liquid can be quickly absorbed. In set A, you see that towels, tissues, and sponge are good materials that absorb water. The ability of materials to absorb water is due to the presence of loose fibers with lots of pores or holes between the particles that make up the materials. In a sponge, for example, these holes or pores absorb water, making the sponge swell. When you are cooking, you make sure that materials are clean before using them. When you squeeze the sponge, you are forcing the water or liquid cleanser out of the holes that cleanse the surface of the dishes, glasses, or spoons that you wash and use in cooking. Other materials that absorb water like tissue paper, cottons, and cloth are called porous materials. These materials can easily undergo decay also. This happens because the presence of water or moist in the materials can cause degradation of the materials due to presence of microorganisms that harbors or pile up in the materials. Materials like plastic or metal spoons and forks, porcelains, cups, iron nails, aluminum cookwares, and glasses that you use at home do not absorb water or liquid. Hence, they are called non-porous materials. There are no holes or spaces between their particles. The ability of materials to sink or float in water depends on their density. 
Density is the amount of mass of an object per unit volume. Water has a density of 1 gram per cubic centimeter. If the density of an object is higher than the density of water, that object will sink in water. But if the density of the object is less than the density of water, the object will float in water. And now, let us answer the following activities. Learning Task 1 Identify which material will float or sink in water. Check the column that corresponds to your answer. Materials Number 1. Paper clip Is paper clip will float or sink in water? What is your answer? Very good! Paper clip will sink in water. Number two, rock. Is rock will float or sink in water? What is the correct answer? Very good! Rock will sink in water. Number three, ball. Is ball will float or sink in water? What is the answer? Very good! Ball will float in water. Number 4. Ship. Is ship will float or sink in water? What is the answer? Very good. The ship will float in water. And number 5. A feather. Is feather will float or sink in water? What is the answer? Very good. Feather will float in water. Learning Task 2 Choose the letter of the best answer Number 1 Which of the following materials will sink in the water? Letter A. Big stones Letter B. Empty bottle C. Styrocup Or D. Feather What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter A Big stone. Number 2. What kind of materials enable the boats to float in water? A. Wood or bamboo that are denser than water. B. Wood or bamboo that are less dense than water. C. Light metal. Or D. Plastics that are denser than water. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter B Wood or bamboo that are less dense than water Number 3 What properties of materials are common among coins, spoon, and iron? 1. Non-porous 2. Denser than water 3. Porous 4. Less dense than water A. 1 and 2 B. 1 and 4 C. 3 and 2 D. 1 only What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter A 1 and 2 Number 4 Which property make this material sink in water? 1. Non-porous 2. Denser than water 3. Porous 4. Less dense than water A. 2 B. 1 and 4 C. 3 and 2 D. 1 only What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter A. 2 And number 5 Which material will most likely undergo decay? A. Aluminum B. Leftover foods C. Water D. Plastic cups. What is the correct answer? Very good! The correct answer is Letter B. Leftover foods. Remember, Porosity is the property of a material to absorb liquid like water. Porous materials have plenty of spaces or holes called pores where liquid can be quickly absorbed. 
The ability of material to sink or float in water depends on their density. Density is the amount of mass of an object per unit volume. If the density of an object is higher than the density of water, that object will sink in water. But if the density of the object is less than the density of water, the object will float in water. Kids, are your all answer correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!